Thanks for watching this video. So uh, this video, I'll do my best to keep it really short for you uh, because this will just be an introduction to what you can expect from the five days half a mil free challenge, okay? And uh, as much as I like to talk about what you can expect in that free challenge, I also wanna talk about who I am because uh, I believe that a lot of people who will be watching this video have probably never heard of me, okay? So uh, why am I actually hosting this challenge? The reason why I'm doing it is because I want people to access the right insights and the right client acquisition systems that you need to actually add an extra 50K per month or scale to your first 50K per month in Q1 of 2022, okay? And before I go over my story, let me talk about who I believe will benefit the most from this challenge, okay? So uh, most of our clients are agency owners, right? Uh, but we also help coaches and consultants, okay? And, um, but to me personally, I like to summarize it by just saying that if you're running an online service business, and you charge two grand or more per month or for your tip for your product or service then this challenge will literally change your life because uh, i'm going to be sharing everything that has personally changed my life okay and if you can see from the story that i'm about to walk you through uh it has happened really quick okay so who am i right so my name is serge also by the way before i go over all of this, this video will be really short, but if you'd like to spend more time with me, go check out my YouTube page, Serge Guattari. Um, I drop a lot of videos there and it's bomb stuff, okay? So who am I? Serge, 23 years old. I was born in Rwanda, okay? I moved to Canada in 2011, did the whole school thing, went to college, ended up dropping out of college, right, in 2018 for a sales opportunity, right, to do door-to-door, -door, guys in winter in Canada. It's literally the dumbest thing that you can do, but I still did it. Why? Because I personally realized that like, you know, it doesn't make sense that I'm learning from someone who doesn't have the life that I want, right? So all I did is I went and found mentors of people who are living the life that I want and just did the thing that they're doing, okay? But the door to door thing didn't really make sense. So it wasn't really sustainable for me. I ended up quitting and I ended up testing a lot of nine to fives, right? I got mo I probably between 2017 and or 2018 and 2020, I probably got like six jobs, right? And my last job, I stayed there for like two years, which was an amazing experience. But what most people do when they're at working at nine to fives is that, which is a crazy mistake, is that they think that the way to get out is by saving money. But that's literally the dumbest thing because the issue isn't that you can't save money. The issue is that you're not producing enough to be able to save enough, right? So for me, I understood that. I listened to a lot of Grant Cardone and I focused on growing my income. So all I did was I literally leveraged all the paychecks I was getting and just bought access to as many information, info products, courses, and all that good stuff and started and tested most of the online business models that exist, right? Drop shipping, Amazon FBA, and then, you know, consulting and then I ended up you know finding this agency model in beginning of 2020 right but <laughs> as most of you guys probably already know I struggled for like nine months straight right since most of these courses that are, are literally created by influencers who have never done manual outreach to grow a business organically or they've maybe done it a little bit and then literally went to straight to teaching it okay struggle for nine months and um, all the tactics that I was learning in the courses didn't work or simply weren't thought. They weren't taught in depth enough for me to understand the underlying mechanisms that actually make outbound prospecting and appointment setting campaign work, right? So some of the time is that people are like, oh yeah, lose LinkedIn, go scrape people's emails, go send email blasts. But the issue isn't that these channels don't work. It's just that you don't understand what actually makes it work, right? It's like you need to understand the different human biases and all the, the stuff that make humans actually behave, right? In order to really make an number one prospecting campaign work, you need to be really good with a lot of other um, insights, okay? So I decided to stop learning from influencers, right? And literally went to, to learn from industries that rely on things like outbound prospecting to scale their there are high ticket product businesses like the SaaS industry, okay? I got so good at it that I ditched the advertising model, right? Because, you know, in 2021, when I, found the, uh, when I found this agency model, it was for a Facebook ad agency model, okay? And then, for nine months, didn't sign a customer, 
So, but I ended up, of course, signing a customer in September, right? Who paid me 4.5K. That was the best 4.5K that I've ever made in my whole life. It will probably be the best amount of money or the best feeling from earning capital that I'll ever get, right? I've made over, you know, almost 20K in a single day. Nothing ever felt as good as making 4.3K for the first time from your own efforts, guys. Okay? So... I ended up closing down the advertising agency model and started an appointment setting agency in December 2020, so around 13 months ago, okay? By January, so the next month, we hit our first 10K month. I literally sent a screenshot of the first 10K month and to my aunt, and she still wanted me to go to school, if you can see here, right? So I was joking with her, and I was like, you still want me to go to school, right? And she was like, yes, of course, right? But I kept doing what I was doing, right? In March 2021, we hit our first 30K month, in June um, this year, I decided to switch to a leverage consultant consulting model, right? And launch our half a mil half a mil program on July 15th, where we build client acquisition systems in house for our customers and improve their service market fit. Okay, so I know I didn't really cover what we do at clientacquisition.io, but essentially what we do is um, people who are running online service businesses come to us because they'd like us to either build new channels for acquisition for them or uh, literally help them find the right thing to sell because a lot of people get into courses and they just think that they're going to sell the same thing as 3,000 other students and think that they're going to win. No, come on. It doesn't work like that, right? So we improve your service market fit and then we uh, build the client acquisition systems and also the right teams to actually implement that those acquisition systems, okay? So that's what we do within our half a meal program. And after launching it in uh, July 15th, I think by end of August, we had generated our first 70K um, a month, which was pretty insane to me. And, um, but yeah, we kept working, right? November uh, last month, we generated $108,000. And of course, I had to send a message to my aunt and uh, she still wanted me to go back to school. So I don't know how much money I need to make in a single month for it not for me not to need to go back to school, but it seems like even six figure months are not enough, okay? But what she didn't realize is that I'm helping more people than schools do, right? Because what a market is, is like a voting machine, right? It votes with its dollars. And if I was able to go from my first 10K month in January to hitting my first 100K month, sometimes I just think it's ridiculous to even mention it, but from 10K a month in January to 100K in uh, November, it's because the market felt like I had a good offer and I had something good to sell, right? Something valuable, right? And the market voted it, right? So last month we generated, yes, 108K, but collected was actually 67K, okay? So this is our profit and loss statement from my accountant, right? She calculated everything. 76K profit, guys, like this is insane. Of course, we didn't collect the whole thing, but we collected 67K and profit was um, 36K, right? So I literally made last year's yearly salary in a single month, right? Which is pretty ridiculous. And this is after my own salary, okay? Because I pay myself and then it's removed also from as a company expense, okay? Now, let me go over our case studies. So what you'll see with these case studies is that it's full of young people. Why did I choose young people? Because... I want you to not have the excuse of like, oh, but you have only young people. Well, the truth is, if you're over 20 years old or you're 25 or 30, you know, we literally just got our first customers who are over like 40 and 50 years old, which is pretty insane. But I don't like to focus on them because they have more experiences. But what I've realized is that a lot of people who are older try to feel like this isn't something that works for them, right? And they use their age as an excuse. But the truth is, if a 17 year old, old, right, hi, which is founder of Pull Up Media, he helps e-commerce brands uh, grow. He literally went two years trying to make this agency work, okay? So that means he was 15 when he started. And uh, after working with us in the first five weeks, he hit his first 9K a month, right? Before ROAS deals, right? So you see here, 1250 a month, uh, client 3.5K per month, plus 15% ROAS deals, okay? 4K a month, 10% locked in, right? So this is stuff that, you know, kids are doing right now and it's pretty you know life-changing to me right he ended up quitting in school because once you start making 10k a month or 12k a month at 17 like you you can't really pay attention in class okay so um safe another 
This one is pretty insane. He's 14 years old, right? He's also uh, he's a founder of Consistency, which is an agency that helps brands grow through ads and solving their tracking issue, tra attribution, all that good stuff. Uh, 14 years old, leveraging paid audiences to book 23 meetings in a single week, guys, right? Imagine when you were 20, 14 years old, and you were out there just booking meetings like crazy, right? And he, by the way, his ever first ever meeting was booked from a free audience that he accessed on Facebook, and the prospect was running a $40 million brand, right? So if you look here, he signed me a message, hey, book my first uh, meeting today with building a brand and an audience. 70% sure I'm gonna close. Also forgot to add that the company made 29 million pounds last year with 30% margins, right? So it's pretty insane at 14 years old, right? Uh, his booking meetings on Saturdays, five average messages, four meetings booked. And uh, you know, he's actually leveraging one of the insights that we have, which is accessing audiences, okay? And by the way, I'm not gonna go, like I said, this is just an introduction. This is not me going over what will actually be covered. Um, so if you want to learn more about these actual systems, then you'll have to show up to the five day free challenge. Okay. Another case study is Anton, right? Um, founder of Merck Media, paid traffic expert. He closed a 15K a month uh, client, plus who was willing to give him 5% equity with a brand looking to spend 100K a day, guys, right? If I zoom in here, you can see it here, right? Which is pretty insane. That's a crazy deal. Uh, Max, email marketing agency owner, hit his first 20k a month after working with us. After having spent the past year or so with the with the single customers who was paying him performance only, and as most of you guys know, if you're running an agency and you're and you're starting out, most customers who you sign performance literally don't bring you any money, right? But after working with us, hit hit his first 20k a month, right? Which is pretty sick. Um, Joseph. Close his first ever client after getting him to switch to an offer uh, or a mechanism that is more in demand, right? He signed his first client at 8K a month. And this is after two years of being an, in an influencer course that it really didn't help him, okay? And uh, he switched from Facebook ad to CRO, right? I told him, hey, stop the Facebook madness. Let's go to CRO. And, uh, you know, this is the message that he shared. You don't fail unless you quit. Two years of being stuck in the same place, contemplating my purpose why I exist and what I'm meant to do. Now my contractor will be able to afford a car for his mother-in-law and not be worried about her ability to take care for herself. And this is the 8K uh, times three, uh, min so three months minimum. So that's like what, 16 plus like 24K deal, right? Which is pretty sick. Um, Richard, founder of OK Media, uh, went from 30 to 13K a month to close to 50K a month in less than three months. Um, and leveraging Instagram outreach, you know, 15K uh, minimum deals, right? Um, Javier in Mexico went from risking his, I mean, he risked it, right? He invested his last dollars uh, with uh, to work with us in scaling his agency. And um, now he's making over over five figures per month before any ROAS deals, right? So this makes me the happiest because, you know, it's not just about making the money, but it's like the risk that you actually invest especially when you're from countries like mexico or you're from um you know like from africa and you sign up for our stuff like i'm like wow that's a commitment and one of the things that i say is that you know i won't give up on you unless you give up on yourself right so as long as you don't give up on your dreams then we got you and we'll always support you and this was made me the happiest person ever seeing customers go from zero to making a lot of money in countries where 12k is like probably making like 100 grand a month okay so Patrick, founder of Ohm Media USA, uh, hit his first 12K a month after spending the last year under five figures per month and having joined all the programs out there, right? He's now pitching offers that like for 7.5K um, and uh, you know, hit his first ever five figure month, right? So what will actually be covered in this uh, five day free challenge, okay? Um, I'll be going over the best offers, right? Because we've had over, like I said in the last, Literally in the last like six months, we've had over 200 customers and I've seen what works and what doesn't. Okay. And if you become a, if you, if you, if one thing that I've realized is that without the right offers, you're not going anywhere. Okay. And not only, we don't just stop there. Not only do I talk about the right offers, but I also talk about how do you actually deliver? What's the best delivery mechanism to leverage in 2022? Because if your backend is messed up, then you can't scale. All right. 
if I can get a hundred customers a month, but I can only support five customers a month, then that's probably even more painful than not being able to get any customers, right? So as much as a lot of people want to talk about offer, 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 backend is also as important, okay? I'll also be talking about our frameworks that are around creating five to 10K or more, right? Packages or services, um, offers, and also how we create sales arguments that make our customers or your customers literally have to get loans to access it, okay? So how do you actually create the right offer and charge high ticket for it, okay? I'll also be going over the, uh, the sales process that we've leveraged to go from 30K per month in March to literally making, you know, 30K in a single week, 60K uh, in literally in, in gross revenue in a single week in November, right? So I'll also be showing you uh, our workflow around leveraging paid audiences or free audiences to being able to book in 15 meetings per day on Facebook, okay? So this is the same strategy that Safe, who's 14 years old, is literally using to book 23 meetings in a single week. I know people in his niche which is e-com, who can't even uh, book 15 meetings in three months, okay? <laughs> so, um, so this will be really good. Uh, you'll access our Instagram, uh, Instagram outreach process, which is used to generate hundreds of meetings uh, for 5K a month agency owners, but we've also literally implemented for agencies making 170K per month, okay? Um, you'll get to access the step-by-step -step process we used to find and train 10 superstar virtual assistants, right, at $3 an hour to implement oral acquisition or all our client acquisition systems, right? So when I used to run the appointment setting agency, I had over like 14 virtual assistants working for me, right? So we've really built a really good process around finding the right VAs, training them and ramping them up to the point that right now, we don't even get our customers to implement the systems, right? We show them the right things to do, and then we build the teams, leveraging VAs, you know, commission only and to end sales teams, all that good stuff, to implement the actual system. So our customers never really have to do anything besides just make the decisions and understand the system. But everything when it comes to implementation is handled by uh, cheap labor or commission only people. Okay, and. Um, Last but not least, but you'll learn about the seven-figure mindset, thinking and decision-making process that I personally follow and my team follows to, and the crucial mental models that you need to be aware of, okay? Because <laughs> one thing that you need to understand is that you don't go from 10K a month to 100K a month in like nine months or 10 months if you're not making the right decisions. And to me personally, if I had to pick the one skill to be good at, it would be decision-making. Because one decision can literally separate you from being stuck at 10k a month for the rest of your life or to be able to make like 10 million a year right so that's why a lot of people will never talk about this but for me personally if you're not good at making decisions making the right decisions then you never ever grow your business i don't care if you're the best at paid acquisition i don't care if you're the best grad creating offers if you're not good at making the right decisions and think properly you're done right so the whole point is help you think better right help you pick the right thing to sell, help you know how to actually get attention, leveraging paid audiences or using you know organic channels like Instagram and launching out by prospecting, right? Sharing you how to build a team to actually implement these systems, okay? And get you the attention, okay? And then leverage, scale that sales process, right? That we've personally leveraged to hit our six figure months, right? And um, show you how to deliver, right? So. Uh, at the end of each session, I'll host a Q&A session. So for the five days straight, every single day, I'll do like a 30 minute session uh, where I'll walk everybody through, um, you know, maybe answer your questions, okay? Um, why am I doing this, okay? The reason why I'm doing this is I want to share with as many people the way that I think and the way that I play this game of business, okay? Uh, I've personally realized that, you know, what I'm doing probably is working pretty well based on the results that I've had. And um, I want to share it with more people, right? And the second thing is I want more people to cut in half the time that it takes to actually achieve their dreams, right? The truth is that we're all playing this business game because we want to access power. We want to act. We want to literally <laughs> like get more status, right? We want to satisfy all our wants and needs. We want to get the girl that we want. We want to get the guy that we love. We want to be able to provide for our families, right? And you want to be accepted by others. You want people to feel like, oh, yeah, you're, I'm doing something great, you know? 
you want people to feel like you know you want to gain some influence and you if you want to fly in private jets then maybe that's the thing that you want right but a lot of people will not tell you the truth i know that you're doing this or you're built if you're running a business you're not doing it because you want to have 100k a month right you want the things that is created by you know maybe generating a million a month or you know, maybe even 10 million a month right which is more status get to drive the porsche that you want right uh get to have the person that you want and get to take care of your family because what else is there to do there is nothing right so me i'm aware to that and i'm i'm always you know straight so uh i've scaled up to this point without spending a single penny on advertising right and I feel like it's my duty to share what we've built uh, with thousands, if not millions of people, right? So if I've been able to go from um, from last year, I think we made like, um, last year we made like 12K, this year we made um, 370K. And of course, if you include like PayPal stuff and all these transfers, it will probably get close to 400K, um, which is pretty decent because last year I was making like 40, 30K, 40K a year. Um, so I and without spending a single dime on ads, right? We're gonna start running ads this week, okay? So I think it will help a lot of people. And uh, I'm looking for more customers, of course, and I want to grow the, our business. But instead of trying to sell you on our stuff, my goal is I'm going to give it away for free and provide you with so much value that um, it will change the current state of your business to the point that you literally feel like you owe us to become customers, okay? So that's my whole game. It's like, how about this? If our stuff is really that great, then how about I give it away for free to the, and to the point that you actually can grow to 50K a month without needing our support, right? But once you actually get there or you see some growth, you'll be like, yo, wow, they've changed my life. Let me actually, um, you know, let me, you know, give them, you know, a favor back, which is become a customer, okay? That's literally it. And a lot of people who host these challenges are like, oh, this is just a free day challenge where you get, you get, you get. Yes, it will be about that. But my goal or long term consequence of doing this is that I'm going to give away so much that the reciprocity bias will kick in and people will actually want to become customers. So hopefully that isn't uh, you're OK with that. So uh, please show up. Right. So when it comes to the process is uh, all you really need to do is share your email, receive the So in this on the funnel where this video will be is. All you have to do is just add your emails. You'll get the, the invite to join the Facebook group to through your email, okay? Or you'll just join on the next uh, thank you page. You'll get to apply, apply to join the free Facebook group. Please answer all the questions properly. Once you join the group, you will find this poll, okay? Um, let me see. You'll find a poll in the group where you actually get to vote for the topic that you want to be covered. And um, or you can literally add new topics. So some of this stuff is stuff that I thought would be important and the stuff that people have already voted on. But if you'd like for me to cover something that I haven't included, then you'll have the opportunity to do it. Um, and uh, once you vote it, literally just wait for the invite for the Zoom calls. And Monday, January 3rd, 11 a.m. Eastern, that's where the uh, call starts. OK, um, again, I'm not necessarily the most uh, influence, influential person. I'm not the richest person. I'm literally just in my literally like 16th month of business. So I'm not the smartest guy, but I believe I can help you. Okay. So, uh, find this helpful and, uh, I hope you'll be showing up on the, 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 the support or the live sessions. Okay. Have a beautiful day. I appreciate you. Love you. Bye-bye.